Okay, we, here we have problem 2-2 from the Hibbler Statics book, 12th edition. Um, we're given this angle, 60 degrees. We're given this uh, 5 kilonewtons. This is 45 degrees and 8 kilonewtons here. Uh, the first thing I did is I drew it out on paper and I used a scale the way it'll fit on paper. My scale is I had uh, my 8 kilonewtons it's actually from here to here as 4 inches and the 5 kilonewtons is uh, 2.5 inches so the scale is uh, 2 to 1 okay um, I don't use the law of signs or the law of cosines or anything like that to solve this problem I have an actual easier way to solve it if you draw the problem to scale uh, using your ruler uh, compass and your protractor so all of these are to scale and this is actually 60 degrees this is actually 45 degrees so once you have everything uh, drawn to scale all you have to do is take your protractor to find uh, FR and I'll show you how to do that real quick so the first thing you do is you place it right here in the center then you adjust it adjust your protractor to the tip of those that five kilonewtons right there okay then what you want to do is you want to take that protractor take that tip to the tip of the eight kilonewtons right here where it ends right here and just draw part of a circle here and you'll see in a moment why I'm doing this and you do the exact same thing for the eight kilonewtons place place it in the center like this and then you have to adjust it to where it meets the tip of the eight kilonewtons which is about right there you want to be as precise as possible okay I'm going with that then you take this to the tip of the five kilonewtons and you draw part of the circle and as you can see these two uh, parts of the circles they meet here right here so what you do is you take your ruler draw a line from the origin all the way to that point there right there where the point is that's the end of your vector for your resultant force and the next step is uh, to measure this vector you're going to use the side of the inches you have inches and centimeters on one side so I'll measure it from here to here that's one two three four five five and a quarter so FR is five point two five inches so if you follow your scale FR is equal to 10.5 kilonewtons that easy there's you don't have to use sine cosine square, square root of this square root of that is just simply using these three uh, different tools I didn't even use a calculator for the angle you need this right here your compass so you set it to your origin here and you align this with the axis and you also align this 
with the center which happens to be the 90 degrees and you align this as best as you can then you measure this angle here so we can count here from here to here here's a 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 about 17 and a half 17.5 degrees and FR is 10.5 kilonewtons and that is the graphical method without using any uh, calculators uh, without using any law of signs any law of cosines just simply draw to scale and measure